This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening. This week, Cami Chaos is shut in a box. I'm her evil twin, Kilmilia Chaos. Welcome, my little pets. We've gotten rid of Dr. Normal as well, and this evening, I'm joined by my slave, Dr. Strange. Good evening. (laughs) And our special (laughs) guest, zombie brain-eating Baron Von Bacon. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) Hello, Baron Von Bacon. What's happening? I don't know. As soon as I introduce our studio audience, we'll discuss what's happening with you. Because this evening we are joined by Miss... Buried. Hello. Goodbye. Well done. Baron von Bacon. Yes. There are some interesting happenings in the open ID. (laughs) (laughs) It's a perfect segue into open ID. (laughs) There are some interesting happenings in the open ID world today. Uh, a lot of stuff happening. <laughs> Just all around. <laughs> the end of podcasting. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, what's going on with Open ID this week? Uh, it's a big week for Open ID. Uh, we had, let's see here. What's today? Wednesday. On Monday, Microsoft. Oh announced. no, it's it's Friday. Sorry, I mean on <laughs> it's uh, it's Friday. Happy Halloween! <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm really it's good Wednesday. at this, by the way. What's it's up? Wednesday. Yeah. So on Wednesday, on Monday. On Monday, Microsoft announced uh, Microsoft Live ID is going to be supporting OpenID. Uh, very exciting stuff. They've basically said this is going to be what we're going to use. And uh, that's really good news. And then today, uh, or sorry, um, last, you know, this Wednesday, this past on Wednesday. On Wednesday, yeah, yeah. Uh, Google announced that they are also now uh, an OpenID provider. Now, they're both in testing right now, so it's not you know, production grade stuff, but look for it in the summer. Now I'm interested and, and I'm curious, interested and curious because Blogger was an open ID provider. It was actually an open ID consumer. But it provided open ID. Did it provide it as well? Clients. Oh, did it? Okay. It well, did. It but consumed. But it also, it also consumed. That was and it deal. provided, but now, and it's owned by Gmail, correct? Or Google? It's owned by or, Google, yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, Blogger was originally done by Evan Williams. But it was, the guy who did Twitter, right? it was purchased. It was purchased, and he by. was at Google for a while. And then uh, the guy who did AOL, or who did Open ID at AOL, mm-hmm. went to Twitter. Or sorry, <laughs> there's so many things. <laughs> went to Google. There's so much internet the, uh, technology. Uh, is heading up the uh, the blogger team, and ah. that was the guy who implemented <clears throat> Open ID there. So it's a pretty small world of geeks that are making it move forward. It's very cool. So there's you know a few. There's like honchos. seven seven people. Yeah. Seven people and they're all in charge of the internet now? <laughs> yeah. There's seven people in charge of the internet. No. I mean there's there's a huge community of people who use OpenID, but there's a lot of people who are helping move it forward, not only in the, you know, smaller sort of tech communities, but also at the really, really big companies. And that's, you know, it's been pretty interesting to watch. So what does this big um movement in open ID do for the Portland open ID? Uh, for a long time everyone's like, Oh, Portland open ID, yay, yay, yay. What's that do for the? Uh, you know, I think I think it just continues to solidify what we've already been doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of things happening around OpenID, and and all of us are positioned really well to take advantage of it. Um, so I, I think you know, even with this economic downturn, it's it's a great time to be in the OpenID space, the identity space. So, yay. what's that, Fifi? What? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Fifi would like to know. <clears throat> How best to procure an open ID? Oh, well, there's a couple different ways you can get an open ID. You could go to openid.net slash get. 
and there's a bunch of providers there. Uh, the odds are that if you have a Google account, a Yahoo account, an AOL account, a Microsoft Live ID account now, um, or did I say Yahoo? I said Yahoo. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, if you have one of those, you already have an open ID, so you're already in good shape, which is fantastic news. So now there's been some question with the WordPress open ID. Yes. What about it? WordPress is now providing an open ID from their WordPress account. But there's been some security question? Uh, no, I mean, actually, they've been in pretty good shape, um, all things considered. Uh, I don't think they've had any security issues, have they? Either I haven't been tracking it. I'm just going off, of, and, and I could be horribly misquoting. I just remember a blog that Aaron Hockley posted that WordPress started supplying an open ID. Yeah, they did. They started supplying open IDs a long time ago, actually, like, well, like six months no, ago. No, I mean... Ooh. Maybe I'm confused. I could well, so there's also, confused. so you can actually host your own WordPress? That's what blog? I'm talking about. I'm talking about hosted, not from the WordPress.com. Right, so and, and then the, the hosted one uh, is done by a guy named, so there's a plugin for WordPress. Yes, that's, that what, the open ID I, that's stuff. what I'm talking about. Go. See, I love it when you read my mind, <coughs> Baron Von Bacon. So uh, it can, you can actually host your own WordPress and use the plugin. The plugin is actually built by a guy named Will Norris who works for Vadoop. Mm-hmm. It's a great company here in Portland. I don't know if anybody knows who it is. Mm, Vadoop. I'm not sure I've heard of that company. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, anyways, yeah, it, and uh, Will's been doing a, a really great job. I don't know if there's been. I'm, I'm sure there's. There's always bound to be security vulnerabilities, but Will's really good at making sure you know anything that's found is. I I only up ask right away. Because, because my uh, my my less sophisticated twin sister Cami Chaos <laughs> uses that plugin. Oh well, that's great. So, um, tell us about what's going on with Facebook and the Open ID Usability Summit. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's talk about let's talk about Facebook first, because um, it's kind of separate. Actually, on November thirtieth, uh, Facebook Connect is going to launch live, and Facebook Connect is their new um, sort of uh, distributed social networking in a box for people. But if you trust, you know, Facebook for everything. And uh, very interesting stuff. Um, we'll see. We'll see what comes out of it. I'm not sure what's going to happen with it, but about uh, I guess it was a week, a week and some change ago, at Yahoo down in the Bay Area, they hosted the Open ID Usability Summit. It was actually a great event. There were about 45 people there. Uh, there were I don't know. We had three or four people there from Vadoop. And uh, it was a great event about there's a bunch of problems with open ID and the usability. So what what has Yahoo learned? What has Facebook learned? What has Google learned? And how are we going to fix this stuff? And, um, I, you know, we've made a lot of progress and it's, it's really exciting to see. Um, it's still not perfect, but I think it's going to be getting better uh, with each of these iterations. And some of the stuff that Google has announced today or sorry, Wednesday uh, is, is really, really good news. So, yeah. And. Uh, is there some controversy between using email versus a URL? Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, don't, I the, don't know if there's so I mean, much we're like talking controversy. Right? Yeah, it's just a different way of doing things. And I, I think my guess is that uh, the technology is going to have to evolve to make it all work. Um, so it's not going to be just an email address or just a URL or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, you, the, the reality is the lay user still just doesn't think of um, themselves as a, as a URL. They think in an email address. And every single Facebook user and every single MySpace user all think in email addresses. Uh, so if you look at Google and Yahoo, what they've done is they're like, great, we'll use the email address because, you know, we're email providers. Um, Yahoo has the largest email provider, uh, internet email provider out there. And Google is second behind them. So, of course, they'd love to use that um, because not only do you have inside of your, uh, your email, if you can use your email as the identifier to sign in, you also have all your contacts because they probably email you that's tied to that as well. So really interesting sort of taking advantage of the fact that you have all your contacts in one place in your email account and hey, why not use that to sign in too? Um, now the controversy is that people feel like if I go to a site and I enter in my email address, uh, then I've disclosed some piece of information to that site before maybe I want to disclose some piece of information to that site and I just think that's dumb. I just think that's totally lame. So. A lot of sites, I mean, a lot of sites use the email addresses, the login. Totally. You right. know, and then you provide the whatever password you make up for that. Right. Site. So so there's this thing in OpenID called directed identity. Yeah. And the idea would be instead of having to enter your email address, you enter in yahoo.com or google.com. And it will go over to Google and then ask Google what your 
what your username is instead of having to give that to the site mm -hmm. because you know you may not want somebody to know that you're actually going to think about signing into that site which I just think is ludicrous. I don't understand that <clears throat> I don't understand the, the hesitation and actually I want to ask exactly. you if you can explain to me I just learned something new in the last couple of weeks and I can't remember what it's called yes it's amazing <laughs> I'm constantly evolving and learning um there gravatar I think Yes. Is a very interesting thing and it kind of reminds me of Open ID. You don't have to log into it, but anytime you use your email address when you leave a comment somewhere in a WordPress based or I'm guessing right. it works in other places. It's all WordPress. Actually it, WordPress acquired. It's only Gravatar. WordPress. Yeah. I, I didn't even know it existed until a couple of weeks ago. And I was I was stunned by the technology because that's just me. What? It's pretty genius, actually. So yeah. Gravatar, um, Gravatar was acquired, I don't know how long ago, this past summer, by WordPress. And what they do is they associate an avatar mm -hmm. with an identifier. So it's either your blog or your email address. And if somebody has the Gravatar plugin on some other blog um, and you've signed up for the Gravatar service, you get an avatar on that site. Oh, they have a. Pl I have to go find the plugin now. Yeah, there's. Well, it's actually or built into. Cami Chaos has to find them. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually built into <laughs> WordPress now. Oh, then Cami the, Chaos has nothing. The two point six. Yeah, it's all built in. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I learned that. Uh, well, I, we can talk more about that later. We have to yeah. talk about. Uh, we got to get a plugin later for the Bacon Geek stuff. Anyways. Oh, is there a Bacon Geek plugin? Because that's on my agenda to discuss. Oh, good. Okay. No, there's no plugin yet, but yet. there there might be. Uh, mm. Yeah, so Gravatar, Gravatar is very interesting. I think um, the avatar is an, a very interesting piece of real estate for uh, when you start talking about distributed social networking. Um, it's sort of this little tiny one-inch punch that you can pack a lot of stuff into. Well, I try, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of the signature more than you recognize someone's name. It's it's instantaneous. You don't have to read it. I'm taking your time. You right. see the image. And if you use the same image in all of your social networking, yeah. everywhere you go, then you're immediately recognizable totally even if you're not using your own face well and the other bonus is if you update gravatar all the other sites out on the internet are updated as well exactly it's perfect it's like magic magic well and if you look at you know twitter is one of those sites that's a great leading indicator mm -hmm. and you remember you remember when uh, uh teams swept the nation no twitter teams remember this they had like the oh, orange yes, team the blue the team all that kind of yeah stuff. I yeah so it was the, the idea of, of like it was bad enough that i couldn't get any functionality out of twitter yeah but I could out of the, the avatar. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I could like make my own little picture. Yeah. And then here in Portland, we had the east side versus west side. I was east side, baby. Yeah, I know you were east side. You were west yeah, side. I was west side. What's up? And uh, yeah. So anyway, so, so Did, I, I think if you look at the won? Twitter stuff. Who won? Oh, east, east side, side killed. Oh, sadly. East, east side, side baby. <laughs> east side. Sorry. Excuse it's me. Right. I'm very mature. So no, so, totally, totally. So speaking of east side, um, Microsoft and OpenID. Okay. Microsoft Live. I yeah, live say, idea. What's up? Slave Strange. Yes. That was the worst, worst segue ever. Good. Then we're doing it just like they normally do Strange Love Live. <laughs> Suckers. So, and again, there's some controversy there. Are they are they serving up open ID? Are they? They are serving up open IDs, um, but, but it's very limited right now. Okay. Because it's in testing, and they've okay, said so it's, it's in testing. So it's invitation beta only. I, I think it's invitation beta yeah. only, but and it's not. Um, they've done some things to uh, to limit the the type of people they can use to sign in. To the type accounts. of people Sorry. you mean? Oh, you mean undead people? <laughs> right. They no, don't let the undead no people use no barons. Uh, it is, um, and all the data that people are creating and, and using for their live ID open IDs right now will actually be wiped out. Um, oh, because they're testing it all right. Because it's testing. Oh, that sucks. Once they're done testing, they wipe it out and start. They wipe it out and then push out the mm. the, main, the final production stuff. So it's 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 all great news. It's all fantastic news. I think. <laughs> yeah, because everyone's doing it, right? All the major players. Absolutely, absolutely, for sure. Hmm. How 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 long do you think it's going to take to get agreement in this area? I mean, how long do you think it's going to take to get? Open ID adoption across the board, like like where effectively like Microsoft, you know, Live and and Google and well, all of them, you know, are all of them are deploying the, the technology. Thing. It's it's inevitable that we're going to have the idea of users at the center of the equation instead of the sites. Right. Um, what's great is there's so much competition right now. So you've got Facebook, MySpace, uh, Yahoo, AOL, Google, you know, y you name it, and they're all sort of every single one of them is sort of you know upping the bar. 
mm-hmm. um, every other week, and they're saying, "Oh no, no, we're going to be a little more open. We're going to be a little more open." Wow! And uh, that I think that just pushes the barriers um, further and faster. So it's good news for us, the users. So, so the part that scares me is, and maybe it's the maybe it's the OAuth piece, if I understand it. I mean, I don't know if this this applies, but like when I signed into Twitter that first time, I'm like, "Oh, I'm going to play with Twitter, right?" Mm-hmm. And the first thing, like other sites do and i know this that this, this isn't tied into open idea or auth but it's like hey give us your email address and your login and oh, we'll yeah. go scan your address book the, and uh, find the password all your anti-pattern yeah. oh, that, i hate that, that. scares the shit and, out and it of takes me. like 10 minutes to find the little tiny writing that says uh just move on and sign in without scanning i mean all of these guys you know linkedin all there was these actually guys, uh you know there was a site called i want to say it was called ketchup and I don't remember how it was spelled, but it might have been C E. Anyways, what it was, and and they did that same thing. They said, "Hey, we're gonna, you know, we're we're gonna just find your friends for you." And what yeah, they actually yeah. did is they they went into your account, found all your friends, and emailed all of yeah, them yeah. as you. Yeah, I remember. So, this. yeah, uh, I once got an apology. Oh, I once got an email from something like that, and then an apology email fifteen minutes later so that's from the, my friend. We, we, so when that came out, like every, we all got yeah. these emails from Ketchup, right? Yeah. And we came up with this idea for a web 2.0 app that would be apologizer.com, <laughs> but with no ER, it'd just be the R at the end. Yeah. And what it would do is, is you'd enter in your, your Google or your Yahoo email address and the password, and then it would send a, a stock apology to your, all of your friends for you automatically, um, and then would give them an option. Automatically? Re- yeah. And then give, <laughs> give an option for them to reply um, Back to all of their friends saying that's nice because I there are people in my address book that I have no desire to email again. They email me one time and they got automatically yeah. added to my email address and it's like oh I don't want to find you. Yeah. You were that creepy guy that left a comment on my blog. Well, imagine if creepy. you're on like mailing lists, right? Oh, Anytime creepy. I get an email from a mailing list, that gets added into my thing, into my into my contact list and creep tastic. Now, now, now would now again would OAuth Establish that exchange of information between, like, say, my uh, when address you do the, book. When you do the email address and password, it's just straight up okay. form posting. Um, right. I, I, I understand that. But, but as far as the spec goes and the, looking toward the future of the spec, looking towards the future, the, the idea of um, OAuth is for authorization, especially mm-hmm. when, you, when you're not involved. So, mm-hmm. like, if I wanted some site to be in charge of my contacts, I would uh, gotcha. do an OAuth grant. Gotcha. Like Flickr. Um, you do the way that <clears throat> the way that OAuth was created was modeled after Flickr mm-hmm. um, because if you use any of the like Flickr apps, if you've ever used anything that that like um, there's a plugin for like iPhoto mm-hmm. that's really nice. And what you have to do is go over to Flickr and say, "Is it okay if if this application on your computer talks to Flickr as you all the time?" Mm-hmm. Um, and you have to click OK. And once you do that, you've granted access for this desktop application. So you don't have to have that username and password pop up every time. It just works because it's on my computer and I'm not worried about it. Um, so it's this uh, sort of key exchange that happens. And then the other nice thing about that is if I'm not around, um, in other words, if, if uh, I have some service that's in charge of my zip code, um, it can update my zip code for me when I'm not around because mm-hmm. I've given it permission to do that. And it says, hey, would you like us to be in charge of your zip code? Sure, no problem. Great. Okay. I'm going to ask a really stupid question. No such thing as a stupid question. Are you talking about like the actual physical zip code with the postal service? Or is there some internet zip code that I'm not familiar with? Uh, no, your actual your actual, your actual zip code. So there's like applications that will update that stuff for you. Like from your iPhone. Does your zip code change <laughs> without you moving? Yeah. Well, no, imagine understand. if you move, right? Imagine if you're walking around. Like, so some apps use longitude, latitude. Oh, oh, say oh it's like a data, where like, you are like kind of thing. Mobile app, okay. Right? I thought you were like. That's just sort of an example. Okay. I thought you were like. You don't know your internet zip code? I'm so embarrassed for you right now. Beefy. It's the last six octets of your IPv6. No, it's here. It's the last four digits of your social security number. I bet Cammy Chaos would know these things. I wish she were here to host the show right now, but unfortunately you have me. Kill Milia. We, we, we have gone over that this is the night podcasting dies. <laughs> for real, yeah, for real. <laughs> all podcast, not just this so, podcast, um, but all podcasts. Mm, I have to say, <clears throat> Kami Cass left me a few podcasting notes. Oh, great. Before I shoved her into a trunk. Good deal. 
And she did tell me that it was Baron Von Bacon's birthday today. It is. It's very exciting. It's Baron Von Bacon's 350th birthday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I got that going for me. Uh-oh. We at Strange Love Live have a little something for you, Baron Von Bacon. Oh, that's great. So Other than thunder and organs. Uh oh. <laughs> I gotta get the camera out for this one. <laughs> oh gosh. Happy birthday, Baron Von Bacon. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I know this is a huge faux pas, but I have to take a picture while there's no, no. things happening here. No, no, it's okay. You're a baron. You're, you're entitled to do these things. Oh, that's great. And so I need to get Miss Barry to come over here with the microphone because <clears throat> we're going to sing happy birthday to you, Baron. Wow, really? Yes. Holy Toledo, that's great. Yes, Miss Barry, come here. Come here, Miss Barry. No, you got to come up, yeah. Should Ms. Barry is wearing Just, fishnets. She should must we do come. it with the strobe light? Yes. Turn no, on the I'm strobe sure light. We'll, we will all, we'll all be in seizures by the, the Fee, end of the strobe Fifi light. would like to sing to you too, but Great. Fifi only hisses. Are you going to give a close-up to the... Uh, just you you can you, just come join me, Miss Buried. Give it a close-up. You just... Uh, kind of show, the, show, the, show it to the camera. The cake. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. No, no. To the cake. We're gonna sing. We're gonna sing first. Put the cake, please. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna have the, the we're very the coordinated light going. Yeah. There we. Go. Oh, perfect. Wow, with bacon. Check <laughs> it out. That's um, well done on your bacon, by the way. Thank you. It's excellent. Uh, I didn't do it. Cammy did. Oh, okay. Before right, I put her in the right. box. What's right. the note? <laughs> is uh is is Slave Strange Happy going to play yeah. music for us? Uh, the the no. Marilyn Monroe uh, Are you ready? singing to to Mr. Kennedy version. Let's let's do this. Do I have to sing to myself too? No, no, you're you're. Oh exempted. great! I get to just like be the Baron. Yeah. Oh. Yes. No. You can just be Baron von Bacon. <laughs> oh, this looks so good on camera. <laughs> <clears throat> like I'm she can just use the mic. It's probably. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> just. Just. I think it just grab Miss Barry. Just, just grab. <laughs> just grab the mic. Okay. We'll edit this all out. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys okay. get this saying you're going to edit. I, I know none of this is going to be edited out. Yeah. No, none of it's going to be edited. Do you want to use the mic and turn her I, I around think toward that, the camera? I think that Dr. Strange would like My to My iPhone is totally going to melt with all that cleavage there in there. Over here. Over <laughs> here. <This> is, <laughs> <laughs> the camera's over pick there. Pick up your microphone. And just pick up your microphone. Yeah, pick up your microphone. Be on camera. Point yourself to the camera. Go. You can over kneel here, in baby, front baby. of Ms. Oh. Kilmilla. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. It's so complicated. Okay. Okay. Get oh, down. Okay, now he wants we to go. show everyone my cleavage. Are you ready? <laughs> Get your priorities straight. Are you ready? Two, three. <clears throat> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday Baron von Bacon, by to the way. you. I know. Ready? Happy oh, birthday, Baron von Bacon. Happy birthday to you. Oh, I had a dysfunction. <laughs> Sucks. I think you need to blow out your candle, Baron. Oh, right, right, right. Let's do that. <laughs> Make an eyeball. Let's dish. roll. <laughs> Woo! I think we need to slice the cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Buried is thinking she may well, maybe stay, stay home stay and home. miss the night the podcasting died. <laughs> How could you miss that? Well done. Conveniently, there are four individuals and four slices of bacon. Woo-hoo! Are we are we going to uh, pause? Are we going to pause for a musical interlude while we eat the the bacon and cake? Let's play some music while we eat some bacon and cake. Genius. And, and refill our empty and, martini. And are we going to oh, play a music nice video? Idea. Is that what we're going to do? Yes, the uh-huh. Monster Mash the monster. by. <laughs> Cammy Chaos is a bitch, Dr. Normal. The Monster Mash. We're going to play the Monster Mash. And then I guess we'll be back. The Monster Mash. It was a graveyard smash. The Monster Mash. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 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 
That's funny. Dude, seriously, cut my mic. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Whoa. The Monster Mash Rap with Dr. Normal and Friends. I don't know why that can't be gas. Better than cats. Now. Yeah, yeah, it was better than cats. I give you that. Yeah. So now we're stray cats? No. <laughs> not better than stray cats, just better than cats. So why don't you tell us about uh bakinggeek.com, Baron Bon wow, Bacon. We're getting straight into it. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, straight into bacongeek.com. Oh yeah, so bacongeek.com. 
You know, it's just I've been I get I literally wait. wait. Do zombies eat bacon? Totally, all day long. Okay, yeah, that and brains. Brains. So are the brains of someone who ate bacon better than the brains of someone who didn't? Uh, yes. Okay. That's yeah. I'll tell my friends to stop eating bacon. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I, I honestly, it was more, I, I, I get two or three links a day from people saying, oh my God, this bacon thing, you should check it out, uh, via Twitter or Facebook or whatever. And, you know, I've been doing bacon stuff literally, I don't know why, just for years. And, uh, I've just always been into bacon, made my own bacon, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, so I said, ah, what the hell, I'll just make my own site and start doing some stuff on it and uh, so I did and I launched it uh, I guess would have been Sunday night and um, which would have that's like a week ago a week right almost almost close to it and I've officially spent um, about four hours and um, $9.95 for a domain on it so I'm pretty psyched four hours and nine dollars I didn't use the code I didn't use the code the discount code no, no, I, I have a, I have who gets me my domains and I like them and they, oh, okay, they serve me well. And there's a lot more bacon stuff coming down the line. I'm really excited, actually. Ooh, more bacon, more bacon for the internet or more bacon for your Portland Baron von Bacon friends? Uh, both, actually. So one, I can, I can mention one thing that's we're gonna be doing here in, um, I think January, and it's gonna be uh, we're gonna call it Master Bacon. Like and Master Shake. No, just Master Bacon. <laughs> and what it is, is it's it's going to be like kind of a bar camp style event where you um, you bring everybody comes together and you have sort of a bacon off. So you bring your favorite bacon Ooh, so, treat. So Kemi Chaos, the lame Kemi Chaos right. would like bring her rumaki. Exactly, mm. exactly. And then uh, they'll be judging and there'll be a trophy. And uh, uh, what I want to do is try and get a model for an event and mm-hmm. then publish how we did it and publish the, the, uh, the trophies, um, and then have, uh, folks can have their own, uh, master bacon events. I, would like I love that. She's just getting it now. No, I guess that's okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So, uh, so it's going to be great. She thinks I didn't get it. <clears throat> and props. I think it was Verso actually that, that, uh, came up with the name for it. Master Verso or, bacon. or, uh, somebody else on Twitter or banana leaf fish bone, you know, <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, so so that's going to be great. I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, do you have a date for that sometime in January? Sometime in January. The, the uh, dates are forthcoming. Do you have a venue? It'll probably be my Hacienda. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Master the Baron's Bacon. Hacienda. Baron Von Vegan's Hacienda. Yash, yash. Uh, so, that'll be great. That's going to be fun. I'm going to be planning some bacon. Uh, it'll be like the pie-off, only bacon-off. Though. Exactly. It's yeah. actually sort of modeled after the pie-off, only with bacon. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So what can we expect to see on BaconGeek.com in the future? Uh, what are we, what's coming up? Um, so I'm going to be doing, so we started this thing called the Bacon Review System. Mm-hmm. Pretty geeky. Mm-hmm. And it's, but it's how you rate bacon. Yeah. And it's actually a modified version of what iHeartBacon does, or our, our, iHeartBacon.com does. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but they haven't really done anything with it recently. And so uh, uh, I'm actually going to be rating different types of bacon. And actually, it's funny because somebody sent me a T-shirt. That's yes. a bacon T-shirt. Um, uh, a T-shirt company, actually, here in Portland. Very exciting. Um, this is also the home of BaconShirts.com. Yeah, is not, that the place the that has the? This. Oh, which they is, do iHeart Bacon. Which is the place that has the bacon packaging? That's that's uh, BaconShirts.com. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, they're uh, yeah they're like right here in Southeast Portland. That is very cool. I had no idea. Hello, Southeast. Yeah. What up, east side? Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Southeast. Southeast Portland rules. We've got hippie vegans and bacon eaters galore. It's really exciting. Anyway, so then uh, there's another thing um, uh, coming up, but I'm going to wait to announce that one. That one's coming up pretty soon. I kind of talked about it earlier with you guys, yeah. yeah when the video was playing, I was discussing it anyways mm. it's very Secrets. exciting yeah yeah so bacon <laughs> <laughs> go on for hours i'm wondering if baron von bacon enjoyed his bacon cake 
Oh my God, are you kidding me? It was awesome. Although, to be honest, it wasn't really a bacon cake. It was really a yellow cake with chocolate frosting and bacon on top. <laughs> that's that's still a bacon cake. What? I have a question about BaconGeek.com. Oh, hit me. Ooh. Okay. Uh, no, I've forgotten it. Yay. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? Miss <laughs> Buried, ask the question. <laughs> Is there something that someone... Do you have a... Something you wouldn't put on your site. Is there a, do you have a, what's it called? A bar? Like a. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like a moral limit or yes. like a. Censorship <laughs> of bacon. Moral limit. Uh, I thought you were going to ask if you put a treasure licious. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's coming later, I'm sure. Fifi likes treasure licious. I have it recorded now. <laughs> uh, do I have like a bar? I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I think within reason, you know, it's got to be tasteful. <laughs> Did I just say that? Oh my god. <laughs> uh anyways, it's got to be tasteful and um you know, that's about it. You know, there's some stuff that probably so wouldn't want to put on there. What qual- what qualifies as distasteful in the bacon world? Mm. I don't know. I mean, you know, honestly, if you go look at some of the um if you search for bacon on <laughs> Google, there are ads that come up for vegetarian sites. That like sort of like show you how bacon is made, right? You don't uh-huh. want to know that. that it's just like sausage, yeah, right? You just want to have the sausage. Yeah. You don't want to know how they make it. So that sort of to me crosses the line. Um, but uh, you know, I, I will say the like, actual real information about how bacon is made crosses the line for you. Um, no, no, no. Like sort, of, it's sort of like uh, you know, the dark side of anything is bad, yeah. right? Yeah. Like the way I make bacon. Is not bad. No, you get it from a pig that's already dead. That's very nice. Yeah, it was it was a suicidal pig. It's, you know. Wait a minute, he's a zombie, <laughs> right? Well, he ate the pig's brains, and so the pig was dead. So oh, he got right, the bacon. Right, so something like that. Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I was just distasteful. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we won't hold it against you. I'm trying to think what the other. There was some other. Oh yeah, yeah. So the um, there's like this crazy bacon stuff happening on the internet right now. I know <laughs> it's all over. No, bacon. I know what you're asking. So, oh my god, crazy bacon stuff. Define crazy bacon. Uh, bacon is all over the internet. Literally, so there's been like all these sites that have launched in the last couple months, um, and I've only like recently discovered this since I launched Bacon Geek. Uh, there's Bacon Today, which launched, which is actually like the coolest goddamn site you've. Ever, it's the most beautiful website ever. BaconToday.com. BaconToday.com. Is that a Matt Lauer site or? <laughs> no, it's not. It's like uh, it's 500 yards media or something like that, and nobody knows who they are. And um, but uh, beautiful, like literally beautiful site, and they like have all this amazing content. Um, yeah, I was just blown away. And then uh, there's Bacon Unwrapped, which has been around for a long, long time. Uh, but she's been really busy. She's actually writing a book about bacon now. Oh. It's coming out in the spring. Um, Is which, it like an informational book or a cookbook? No, I think it's going to be sort of a, um, like, like you know, not even a history of bacon, but sort of like one of the, I don't want to say puff piece, but like one of those things that like sort of like talks about Like a bacon, coffee table book? A coffee table book. Thank you. Yeah. It's a coffee table book for coffee tables. No. I have a coffee table. Why don't I drink coffee with it? And then... Yeah, there's one more. There's one more site, though. Uh, it's, um, oh, I should know this. Anyways, there's, there's a bunch of sites. Baron Von Bacon should Bombs know down. everything about bacon. I should. God. Jeez. I Go was ahead. wondering Go how ahead. much bacon you have a week. and What's if, your cholesterol? <laughs> and if you ever, if there's ever bacon in your dreams. Ooh. Um, Do you dream about bacon? You know, I actually don't have that much bacon. Do zombies the dream of it's bacon It's on the weekends. Sheep. Really on the weekends that I do. Mm, that's that's a good we, plan. That's when we have it our is. bacon it's too. Safe. Yeah, pretty our safe. family has bacon on the weekends as well. I so, actually, I, I work with a guy. Our Baron von Bacon works with a guy. I won't name names because this is yeah. something he probably wouldn't want me to share with the whole internet. But uh, he's a vegan, strict vegan, nothing yeah. with eyeballs. That's tough Ew, when you're a zombie. That's very so sad. Vegan. It is hard. And uh, but but on Saturdays he eats a dozen Krispy Kremes. Wow. Just in a row. And he's like, you know, you get to 10, and man, you really got to want it. <laughs> I got to tell you something. Jeez. I have never in my entire life had a Krispy Kreme donut. <gasps> really? Wow. Neither has Cammy Chaos. Ooh. I'll tell you what. Oh, you know, I'm not like, I'm not crazy about them, but when they come right out of the oven, 
boy, you can just have one of those and oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. I've, I, uh, yeah. Everyone freaked out when the Krispy Kremes came to Portland. Did you they? should go. You should go. Oh, Krispy yeah, Kreme. Yeah. Krispy Kreme. Oh. And Cami Chaos. Again? Wait, how'd it go? Oh. <laughs> you should go. You should go. Oh. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, there's some man. I feel like we should be playing some really old black and white film right now. And Dr. Normal? Sitting in or wait, wait, Dr. That's Normal's what we need here. for the podcast. Mm. We need robots. Slave Strange. Plastic robots. Slave Strange. Yeah. Respond. Have you ever had Krispy Kreme? No. Miss Buried. I don't eat junk food. I have, but I didn't like it. I don't think I'm on it. Oh, oh Miss Buried has never had a Krispy Kreme donut. I No, I have. Oh, you but have. But I didn't like it. Oh, but you didn't like it. I grew up on Dunkin' Donuts. Ugh. I, I have uh, Dunkin's as well. So did I. Wrong kind. Anybody have sesame donuts? No. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're really good. It's, I like, uh, I like Beaver sesame, Hillsdale. though. It's on West Side. You wouldn't. It's, West Side is the suck. You wouldn't understand. I, I, I went, actually, I've lived in the West Side. Oh. But not now. Yeah, we probably gave you the boot. Yeah, the first time I lived in Portland. <laughs> the first time that I lived in Portland, I lived Northwest. And oh, at nice. some point, I lived in Southwest. I... I grew up in Beaverton. Ooh. Yeah, it's a sad, sad day. That is sad. Yeah. Mm. But I did live in the ghetto, I'd like to say that. In the ghetto in mm-hmm. Beaverton? In Greenway. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty it's pretty hard. Beaverton does have some ghettos. Yeah, that's, that's how I... Yeah. So speaking of Beaverton, what kind of scary movies do you like? <laughs> <laughs> what scary movies do I like? I don't know. You know, I'm I'm just I mean, it is a big holiday coming up here. Whoa, oh, oh, Today, oh, oh, tonight, oh, 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 tonight, oh, oh. right, right. Happy Halloween! <laughs> it's happening right now. What do you do during the holiday when you're not sitting hmm. in front of a podcast? Right, right. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot of. Uh... <laughs> We're gonna have to kick her out. Yeah, she's got to go. It's not her fault. I was tonguing the snake. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, you know, it's it's mostly just the kids and the trick-or-treating and the answering the door and, you know, no it's scary nothing movies. cool. No do you scary like movies cheesy like old movies like you, the old Frankenstein? I gotta uh, ask, you know? do you like no. the Evil Dead movies? Oh, how can you not? Yeah. I can remember that. the first time I saw those. I just, I was like, uh, why didn't I? I, I How come I have see never the, seen yeah. it before? Yeah, after I put my daughter to bed on Halloween night, I will curl up with a good uh, Bruce Campbell movie. Yeah. Yeah, before I yeah. go to bed. Yeah. Who doesn't? Miss Buried. You got a question? Ha- have you never seen... Lippy over there. You haven't wait, seen wait. the Evil Dead movies? Have you ever seen Army of Darkness? No. No. You, you've <laughs> never seen Army of Darkness? How many times do I have to say no? I'm... Don't ask me again. You oh. know what? Um, I like the old Has Miss Burroughs ever seen it? Because I don't know if Cammy Chaos no. can be friends with them. She hasn't seen, never it. seen it. I, oh, well, too yeah. bad. I like the old ones. I like the, like, the old yeah, black yeah, yeah. and white. Just the, oh, the old, old. The really <sighs> old, crazy ones. I'm very you know? upset right now. I like the Frankenstein and the... The Bella Lugosi Dracula, and then when Bella, toward the end of his career, when he was doing like every horror movie with like, with like the, uh, you know, octopus with, you know, with some guy. Octopussy. Couple, yeah, a bunch of guys in a like an octopus suit coming out of the river, you know. I love those. I love those movies. It occurs to me that Miss Buried had another question. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, I was just waiting for an answer on the other question I asked. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That one. Well, now it's I have like a pit bull. Now it's like a question. Senate subcommittee in here. Which one? What was well, the, the question? question was about when you dream. Do you? Oh, do dream I dream about, about bacon? bacon? But then I also wanted to know if if you keep all do that open ID technical stuff in your head, what doesn't stay? But now I know. So. so well, you know, I've never dreamt about um, yeah. bacon, but I do remember when back in the day when I was actually developing software, I would um, I would talk in code. I would talk in Perl. And mm, uh, I'm familiar with this behavior. <laughs> my wife would be next to me. Um, I guess she'd be the Baroness. Uh, Hello, and Baroness is she Bacon. also a zombie? Yes, of course. Yeah, Baroness. Of course. Yeah. She's a zombie with a great rack. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to have to have like a rack attack show or something. All right. Oh, the rack attack. Strange live live. Rack attack. You're welcome. 
Thank you. Uh, yeah, you won't be allowed on the show. But I remember waking up and she's like, yeah, you were talking in code all night. And I was like, you know, what did I say? Like, Because I, you know, I was like stuck on something and I know I like talked the answer, but she couldn't think in Pearl. So I had an ex-boyfriend who used to talk in code and and it was disturbing in his sleep, in his dreams. He would dream about it and he would talk about it. Yeah. And then he would ask me the same thing. He's like, what did I say? Because he was hoping he'd had the solution. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I had no clue. Wow. That's an odd parallel. Yeah, it is really an strange. Odd parallel. So speaking of talking in code, it looks like it's about four days to the election, if I count correctly, <laughs> from a Friday night. <laughs> That's correct. Four days, yeah. The election. Are you voting the for zombie the zombie election? or the non-zombie? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Um, I suppose it would be the non-zombie. Brains! Really? I must eat brains. <laughs> is there a brains party this year on the on the ticket? Some sort of independent. <laughs> I'm sure there is. It's the Ralph Nader ticket. Doctor Ron Paul, right? He's in- I gotta tell you, I'm done with Nader. Really? I'm done with Nader. Yeah. You know what? It's like I I was I was curious in in 2000. It'll stop in a minute. Trust me. <laughs> okay, now it's done. <laughs> I was curious in 2000. I was a little annoyed in 04, and now I'm just. Angry. Oh, you were doing curious politics, huh? No, no, no. Mm. Were you bi curious about the politics? Yeah, were you like politically curious? Did you curious? kiss the other party? Mm. I think he did. Yeah. Everyone it's party experiments party a little action, bit when actually, they're younger, so, right? Yeah. In politics, yeah. dabbles in different sorts of situations in politics, right? I'm wondering who's in this room right I don't now. Think, I don't think who Nader's has voted. a factor. I don't think Nader's. No, he's not. He's not. But was it's Nader just, it's even on the ballot? Uh, he didn't get on as many ballots as he was in he in, was, in 2004. I don't think he was on, on the Oregon, Oregon ballot, was he? Is he? I don't think. No. Huh? No, I don't think he was. I mean, Shows I voted. How much we looked at the ballot. No, no. I I looked for the person I wanted to vote for. I I just you know by a show of hands, who in this room has voted? As of Friday? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well not sure. Played. I'm well not played, sure that Doctor Strange copying my ballot has voted yet. <laughs> ah, that's great. Uh, yeah, I I turned um, ballots in on Wednesday. Yay! I wanted to turn and ballots so cheesy, in on like, Wednesday. They had this um, plastic oh, box. It's not secure. No, no it's no, like no, a recycling no, no, bin. It's, it's like a recycling, recycling bin, bin with a with lid a and a hole and a lock. Yeah. And I'm like. I'm like, seriously? Did you turn I'm it gonna... in at my library? <laughs> That's so the homeless don't get into the, the ballots and look for food. Downtown. Oh, you turn it at the central library? Yeah. I go. I, I, I have I go. a library in I Southeast, babies. Southeast. Hello. I just okay. don't get the lock. Like, I serious? know. It's a plastic bin. I can take a lighter to the bin. I could it chew like it open. <laughs> Hello. I think the lighter. No, I, I think, think our guest could, could chew it up. He's a zombie. He wouldn't shoot open. Yeah. There was you a brain take, inside. You can take your ballot. Well, it's going to be the weekend now as you're watching this on <laughs> Friday night. <laughs> um, you can take the ballot down to uh, the um, the county and yeah. stick yeah, it yeah. in the door <laughs> in between. I think I did that one year. Mm. Like several, nice. It was like, oh, uh, it was late and I didn't have my ballot done, so it was coming up on the time. Drove down there, literally the glass doors, and it's like shove the ballot through the glass doors and you'd look through the glass doors and it's just a pile of ballots in there. <laughs> I mean it was like this is my this Somebody is our vote. On that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is our vote. You know, it's just like This is how we vote. This who is cares? Great. It's how we vote, babies. It's how we That's vote. That's right. So it, it's Yeah, a, it's Doctor it's Strange hasn't voted yet. It's a new day. Lamer. No, no, it's Friday. I voted. You know, I think electronic voting is gonna happen on like the social networking sites before it happens in America. Do you know what I mean? In the I do. I totally well. By that I mean, I mean, I'll be able to validate my vote, and my friends will say, "Yes, I know who this person is," and "Yes, I know that they voted this way." You and know, in really? the schools, even yeah. in the in the schools, they have that'll voting. happen way before. But you wouldn't that kind of negate the idea of a secret ballot? Uh, no, because a lot. I think a lot of people actually like to uh, know who tell people who they're yeah. voting for, yeah, who they're supporting, right? I mean, it's I like agree. having a bumper sticker on, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't like a bumper sticker, but I don't mind people knowing who I'm voting for. I think that's a family trait. My family doesn't seem to mind people knowing who they vote for. Yeah, my uh, <laughs> look at her. She wants to DM right now, but she can't. Uh, Miss Buried is having an issue. She likes to DM naughty 
rude comments at us during like the show to tell playing, us tell the host not to, to chew on their, their hair, hair and stuff yeah like not to touch her breasts like so you think <laughs> so do you think the well well done <laughs> um, <laughs> do <you> think, <laughs> well played <laughs> so no matter who wins on Tuesday no no, no wait wait do what? you think that the next four years are going to be tough for the economy and for the country uh, you know what? Depends on who gets elected, but yeah, but I actually think we'll see a significant bump based on all the things that are happening right now with uh, you mean like the, the stock market, the, the economy. Taken. Yeah, no, I, and I actually think that um, there's a lot of people who feel empowered in this election. Uh-huh. Um, uh, uh, you know, honestly, if McCain gets into office, it's gonna be it's gonna be some dark, dark days ahead. But <laughs> if if Obama makes it in, I think we're gonna have a lot of people who are really empowered. Um, mm. And yes, there'll be people who are pissed and. Uh, that's a good chunk of the country as well, but I think there's but, people pissed on either side. And horse, absolutely, I mean, absolutely. But you know, I mean, everybody goes, "Geez, Obama, you know, has never been a leader, or he doesn't have enough experience." Well, you know, he raised half a billion dollars and has you know two million people organized. Pretty, yeah, pretty damn effectively. Running a national campaign like that is kind of like you know being should. the CEO of a pretty big For operation. Real. For real, you and know, I, and. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I've been pretty impressed. And, you know, honestly, I, I know a lot of people liked Hillary, but let's be honest. She did a lot of deficit spending for her campaign. Yes. She's still paying it off. Yeah. Like, well, she's the last well, person. O- Obama's paying it off for. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah, not a big fan of. Oh, is that the deal? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's uh, I think that was the, the whole, I will support you, you pay off all the uh, I think money it was more like, yeah, um, you're really in debt now, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. I have rich friends. They've all donated to my campaign. You know, so what did I see? I saw something. Um, there was a donate to the McCain Palin like Ugh. commission or something. Yeah, Say the word but Palin. it wasn't. It wasn't I'm actually the. Uh, it wasn't their campaign that you were. You were actually donating. They made it look like. Were you donating to the buy Palin a suit cause? <laughs> I don't know. She's got plenty <laughs> of suits. Uh, no, it was just fascinating because it was. It was basically like, you know, slime politics. They were getting your money and then they were just going to use it for other. Oh, yeah. Causes, which oh, wow. you know, technically you could do. Well, that today happens with, during yeah. an election, right? You got to be careful. There's all this. But he took the he took the public yeah. money, so yeah. Well, right? anyways, that wasn't too smart. Eighty two million dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it, that, that's the thing, though. You 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 just mentioned it uh, just a moment ago, and that was something that uh, I, I walked into the bedroom like late one night and I went, "Do you know that Barack Obama has raised?" Half a billion dollars, four hundred and fifty-eight million dollars, and they're saying two point one million. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, but they're saying he's gonna. I mean, he's pretty much pushing that half a billion. I mean, for you know, what's fifty? Sh- should I tell him what between. you really said? No, he's still he's still raising the money, right? <laughs> yeah. He's still raising money right now, so, and I mean, all that half, stuff's going into other half, races. Where do you think all those Merkley ads are coming from? Yeah, half a billion dollars. That's a lot of money, and you know, uh, he, he I think what is it? It's eighty percent of them. Eighty percent of them are than under Kerry $200. and Bush combined in the I last believe. election. That's more money than both of them, both of their campaigns combined. I mean, the average campaign previously in the last couple of elections was two hundred mil. I want to say, sure. if I recall, half a billion dollars. That's great. So I, I um, did. So I did a. So uh, I'm voting for him. So, so then we can just get the money. It's like, hey, dude, you, you got money. Throw, throw us some cash, buddy. <laughs> yeah. We voted for you. Uh, Isn't that part of the deal? I think that's. I think that's. Throw we us all some cash. Put it in our pocket. <laughs> you pay me to. Vote for you me? can afford it. Come on, half a billion dollars. Uh, he's he he did some really interesting things too for uh, social networking. So I did a bunch of oh, research yeah, on, yeah. Uh, I did a talk, I can't remember where I did the talk, I did it in Verge actually, and it was about um, technology, the impact of technology uh, as it relates to the Olympics and elections. Didn't know they had zombies at Inverge. They did, they did. Wow. And uh, 2004, 2008, did and 2012. Did you get Inverge brains? I did. They were okay. yummy. They are very <laughs> smart brains. Very smart good. brains. Yeah, are, oh yeah. So smart brains are compliant. tastier? Yes. So, so you, the talk was politics, social, what was the title of the talk? Impact of uh, uh, technology, internet. Mm-hmm. on elections in the Olympics from 2004 to 2008. Mm-hmm. In 2004, uh, Facebook didn't exist. Mm-hmm. Right? D- didn't, it didn't start until uh, February. Oh, and by the way, happy MySpace birthday, Google. didn't exist. Right. 10 years uh, old. Well, I know. And Google IPO'd that year yeah. at, at, uh, in August of 2004 yep. at $75 a share. And everybody's <sighs> like, that's, that's bullshit. 75 that's crazy. Anyways, 
It, it closed at like 370 today. Yeah. Yeah. On yeah. Friday, maybe, hopefully. Three yeah. something, something. Don't use this something. for investment purposes. <laughs> okay. This is or, not investment advice. Or political advice. predictions. Or and, political of course, predictions. and then, of course, Twitter didn't exist, right? And yeah. uh, and then so the elections didn't really use that stuff at all, and definitely you know NBC and others didn't use it for the election oh, no. for the Olympics. Um, but you you come to today to 2008, and the difference between what you know uh, uh, Hillary did and McCain and all the other candidates, mm-hmm. they tried to get everybody to their site to do mm-hmm. things like social networking and hey come to our site and participate and da da da. And that's not what you do because everybody's on Facebook or they're on MySpace or they're on YouTube, and so. Um, the Obama campaign went out to all of those places. Right. They, you know, Obama has something like 24 million unique views of his videos on YouTube every single day. And he's the top uh, Twitter. He's probably, I wouldn't be surprised if he's no, the top I, th- Twitter, I think he's the top. But he's also, he has uh, the most followers. He has seven he's on times Facebook, as many friends he's on, on MySpace, Facebook. MySpace, he's got Twitter. Then, yeah, all those But they ones. also built. And I have to say, and this is, you know, he's got the younger generation, but he also has my dad. Working at his campaign headquarters. Wow. So he's got the younger generation. He's got the older generation. You he, know what's interesting here is, you know who we have to thank for our, a lot of this stuff too is uh, is Howard Dean. Yeah, I was just going to say. Joe Trippi was I on. Dean for uh, America.com. Agree completely. Uh, Joe Trippi, who ran his campaign, was on, um, just saw mm. him on like TV the other night, cable TV. And, um, you know, he's really kind of the father of, of, of pulling in the internet and also the what was it the ten dollar donation right yep. from individuals like you know here it's ten ten bucks hook up to the site I don't know how bucks. many of those I've already done to so, Obama especially when they said thirty bucks and you yeah. get a T shirt I'm like Pff, well I mean Obama it's a win for me but Obama <laughs> just picked up where the Dean campaign left off oh yeah no it's a lot of the and, same and people then, and it's then a lot added of people. S- social networking really mm-hmm. as you pointed out was not so you know prevalent than in the Dean campaign, but, you know, it, it, you know, Barack has added that component. Absolutely. Well, I think, I think it's, it's a lot of the same Dean for America.com people yeah. who had learned. Um, these are the people who came up with a lot of the technology that drove Dean for America.com. No. And I, I, you know, I, I think it's fantastic. I think it's just cool. not, not to mention a Portland developed iPhone application. Right. That's right. For Barack the Obama. IPhone. Yeah, yeah, the Brock iPhone app. Wow. You know, it's funny. I've had a whole bunch of Obama people call me saying, "Hey, you should come out because uh, Dean's going to be in town on Sunday, two days from now." Really? And uh, what's he doing in town? I don't. I don't know. He's like visiting, he's saying hi. I don't know. It's not like we're a battleground. Well, he's state. still the like, DNC chairman. Yeah. Right? Well, he's the one who's like fifty states, fifty states. Yeah. It's like all we need is half a billion dollars. Get Wait, out there. There bro. are yeah. fifty states. There are. Still, mm, yeah. interesting. So, I mean, the other interesting thing is is in the Obama campaign is they also built their own their own site too because there's mm-hmm. still the My Barack Obama. They did, but they did it and after lists and right. They did it after, and then they and um, they still hook a lot of the other sites into. That. Oh, do they? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's it's uh, really well done. You can have like Barack cred kind of thing. Like, yeah, I've yeah, made yeah, so many calls yeah, and all that kind yeah. Of stuff. I've seen that. I, I, yeah, I. Yeah, I I looked at that site. I um, it's interesting. It's fascinating. Just shut off the emails, please. My favorite my favorite thing please has don't been. Find has me anybody anymore. watched the the uh, um, the debates? Yes. Oh God, yes. Well, did you I, watch the, Did you watch the second debate when uh, McCain was like, "Yeah, that one." Yeah. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my favorite thing about this that I thought was really fascinating um, was. Within, you, do, you do a good impression of. Them. Yeah. Well, yeah, within, that, within, one. that one. Within within seconds on Twitter, yeah. somebody had. <laughs> mocked up a t-shirt and already had a site up yeah for uh, that one 08 t-shirts in the obama like look you know and speaking of look i mean if you were in the campaign you would be the white I'd guy kill. you would be the white guy i would be yeah, yeah. yeah. i'd kill a little yeah. kind of red white guy maybe a little blue too <laughs> blue on the blue on the on the thing mm-hmm. there kind I of turned blue a little blue collar so they, yeah so they're on twitter they mocked it up twitter's been been fun during the debates oh it's been awesome I mean, it's a, like a total hoot. Yeah, you, right? you because you like you know when when he you have to when he said Twitter that on. one. Yeah, you're, I said God, that that seemed pretty bad. And then Twitter just exploded. Yeah. They're like, Oh my fucking God, he yeah. said that one. Yeah, there's ah. this yeah. absolute every debate. There's been this r- absolute real time running commentary on oh, Twitter. So great, you know, I'm all for it. I'm all for it for the first half of the debate, and then I have to turn Twitter off for a while. Yeah, mm. and then I'll I tell you what, you know, I I want to be able to use. I want that kind of interaction. Uh, on my TV for like television shows for whatever, like even for sports and stuff would be great. 
That would uh, be nice. But it's it's coming, don't you think? I mean, it's, oh, totally, it's, it's going to be great. I mean, there's and been for for yeah. the networks, it's great because then you're you're gonna sh- you're gonna watch it at the same time because yeah. all your friends are there to interact with you, and it's like it's like the networks haven't figured that out. I uh, yeah, but I think there are the a few smart people tea, in the though. networks who are looking at Twitter, looking at the debates, looking at that, and going, uh, guys, yeah, but we need gonna, to get all over this. Screw it up, right? They're gonna give yeah. us. I don't know. Well, it depends on who's in the position. Who's yeah. working on that at the, in the okay. network? Speaking of who, I have, a, I have an important question. Hit me. Yes. Hit us. <laughs> <laughs> I like to hit people. She, she hits me all the time. <laughs> Shut up, Doctor Strange. Do you watch Doctor Who? Do I? Yes. Oh, I don't. What do you watch on TV? Worthless. Peon. What do zombies watch on TV? Do you what watch do- TV? I do. Really? I do, yeah. What do you watch on TV, Worthless Peon? I hate TV. I am a huge um, Office fan. Yeah. Office oh, fan. yeah, yeah, The Office. Both the BBC and the, the yeah. US version. I give um, you that. It's a good one. Uh, you know, I'll be totally honest. I'm such a reality TV junkie. <gasps> really? Yeah, totally. No! Oh, yeah. Survivor. Oh, love it. Oh, man. Really? You watch that? Here's the other one that I love. Get this. And it's it was in Portland, too. It's So You Think You Can Dance. Oh, my God. It's awesome. I'm telling you. I'm amazed. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's great. No, I don't watch that. You should see my kids in front of the TV for American Idol. They freak. And like, so you think you can dance? My kids are like spinning around. They think they can dance. So with reality TV, I'm a I always disturbed. ask myself the question. That's where I draw the line. That's what What's the difference between reality TV, you know, camera and like, you know, in the place and the people there in the house or whatever. The difference between that and, oh, I don't know, say a couple of crazy people who do a weekly podcast once a week <laughs> um, for this is reality TV probably with makeup very little investment in, in money um, and content as well when do you think Strange Love Live will be on network television never <laughs> <laughs> actually after tonight it will never be on again I'm making the announcement the show's been cancelled we got Strange a cool Love new Live. WordPress site by the way but you know oh yeah that's right you guys do how's that going that's cute was that was that pretty easy? Did you guys do that yourself? Uh, you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at don't look at Doctor Strange. I have a full time job. <laughs> Kilmilia didn't do anything either, but that Cami Chaos, she learned a thing mm. or two at Word that Camp. That Cami Chaos went to Word Camp and oh, nice. hooked it up. Okay, that's that's. Did yeah. you just like show Cleve and it was like yeah, yeah. all these nerds came? Hey. And like, oh my god, we're no, gonna true, do this. true, true, true. There's a there's a lovely photo my wife of me showing the cleavage with a uh, Will Norris and Verso. You know what? <laughs> But and the tattoo. Cami Chaos sells herself short on her cred when it comes to. Technology. I think you're a little too fond of Cami Chaos, Doctor Strange. I am. I think you should shut your mouth before I beat you. Okay. <laughs> you better shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Name that movie. Mwah. Or no, shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Okay. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. It's actually not that. It's Wedding Crashers. Oh. I've never I don't seen, think that I've seen that movie. <gasps> Is this a reality TV lover movie? Kind of no, thing? it's it's like Owen Wilson and uh, uh, the tall, goofy guy. With the hair that likes Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know who I'm talking about. All I had to just say, Kramer? tall, goofy guy. I don't know. No, Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Yeah, Vince Vaughn. Vince yeah, Vaughn. He's tall. What's yeah. your favorite movie of all time? Oh, Classic. Favorite movie. <sighs> you know, well, give me three. <laughs> Oh, yeah, three, 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 three I can movies. do. Okay, three, good, good, three. good, because it's so hard. Yeah, it's People hard to like pick the one, you. right? Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, well, especially I'm, if I'm you said the Crying Game or something. Be, right. no, <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Okay, so so okay. my my all time favorite movie, and, and I'm and I'll tell you why is the Godfather. And I know, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So go. here's my favorite part of the Godfather. It's when good answer, by the way. It's when he's in the hospital and mm-hmm. he's got you know he's got the dad in the, in the, uh, uh, they've, he's escorted yep. him away and he sort of, he says, I'm with you now. I'm with you now. Dad cries. Yeah. And you see this whole change in him, right? He's like totally a different person yeah. from yeah. sort of, I'm not going to be involved in the family to like, okay, I own this now. And like, just, I mean, that's just, you're talking about Michael Corleone. Yes. Al Pacino. That's when he, he's never going to be involved. He comes back from the he war. He comes back and he's like, this is it. And I'm then the like, whole thing with the, the dad and he steps <sighs> up and becomes, forget about it, man. That Don, is filmmaking. Which, right yeah. There. I oh, must insert, it's incredible. I must Great insert writing. here that uh, Dr. Normal and Kemi Chaos, whose anniversary is near Halloween, on their honeymoon watched all three. Godfather oh, nice. movies. Yeah. Well done. Well, we got we put it on our wish list. 
Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a great idea. On the registry, it was like, get us the Godfather box set. Yes, I have the box set yeah. as well. It's, oh, it's, yeah. It's excellent. Good answer, um, though. So one, that was one. That was one. The second one would be um, Dumb and Dumber. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's obvious uh, that you is eat there a brain. Scene? It's like I'm running at an incredible rate. <laughs> Come on. It's uh, it's gold every time you watch it. I Like if I was stranded on a desert island and you gave me the Godfather and Dumb and Dumber, I'd be so happy. <laughs> I mean, number granted, three. I need like a DVD player and like what, a, you know flat screen. Or whatever. What's number three? Oh, number three. That's a t- oh, you know what it is? I'm gonna be totally honest. It's the Royal Tannenbaums. <gasps> oh, good film. I love the Royal love Tannenbaums. That. I love, love that. films where they get like a whole bunch of just awesome actors. Yeah. who are willing to like not be the lead. Mm-hmm. Ever seen Cannonball? And Run? not even willing to make that much money. <laughs> no, no, no. They do it because like it's like how it's how fun awesome. would that be? Right? It's a mad, 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 mad world. <laughs> Lots of great actors in that one. I can tell you one of Doctor Strange's Attacks. three favorites. Mars Attacks. I enjoy oh, Mars Attacks. Favorite. Least favorite, really? Least favorite. It was really? So bad. It was one I of the worst enjoy that ever. movie. Oh, that was fun. That and Ishtar. Uh, well, Ishtar. yeah, that was yeah. the classic bad movie of all time. Of all time. I like Mars Attacks. I went to the Ishtar in the theater. Okay. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. That means you're old, right? Yeah, I was, totally. You know, <laughs> no, I was like, a, I was a kid. I was a total kid. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I was. A, it was eighties. Yeah. Was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was older. Hey, Doctor Strange. What's I'm that? I'm thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. God. You're really old now. <laughs> Sucked. Uh, yes. Yeah. No. You were saying? What's that movie? Oh. Um, with where the thing, guy looks like my dad, and the guy, and that no, thing. no, with the horse, and it's got that hot guy that I like. You mean, you mean, Omar Sharif? Yeah, yeah. I don't think looks- Omar Sharif is hot, but what's the guy that I think is hot? Well, Omar Sharif was in um, Lawrence of Arabia, but that was a very long time. ago. No, Hidalgo. Which was Hidalgo. Also a classic film, by Hidalgo. The way. It was Hidalgo. Oh, what's yeah. the hot guy? What's his Don't name? Know. He was also in the think. Uh, hot Lord guys, of the Rings. Um, hot guys. Oh, Vigo. Thinking. Vigo Mortensen. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but then Omar Sharif was. Do you like it? the sci-fi, the fantasy and the sci-fi? He already said he didn't watch Doctor Who. Yeah, not so much. I don't think no, he, I don't do Doctor Who. Star, Doctor Star Who. Wars. We Star Wars. Oh yeah. He, and so like so check this out. We. I'm gonna hit him with the microphone. <laughs> my, my son's seen Star Wars. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And he's four. Which one? Right? Which is not. Wait wait wait. We need to discuss this because we're both parents. Yeah, no, no, no. You're telling me. So, so check this out. I Which got to, I Star got to Wars did then. you let him see? The first one. He said the first one. Okay, wait, wait. Actually, he's seen all of them. The first one, as in number four. Five. The first. I actually know before. Four. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Four. Okay. Good. I. The original. We're on the good page. You may continue your story. Okay. So, uh, Jivio's in preschool. He got this thing called the sharing bag. You're supposed to bring something from home that's to share <laughs> for the class. The sharing bag. And what bag, you're supposed okay. to do is come up with three. Uh, uh, three um, <laughs> sounds like a Cheech and Chong thing. No, really, seriously, three bag, three, three yeah. clues, and then the kids in the room are supposed to guess, and then he gets to take it out and show everybody. Uh-huh. So we made this little like out of Legos. Adults we made we this. made like a spaceship, right? Out of Legos, right? And I said, "Wow, this is from great. now. You know, we're gonna have the sharing bag on Strange Little Life. Totally, oh, that's a great idea. That's a fantastic idea. And make people on the on the inner tubes. So we'll do one more yes. podcast and do okay. the sharing bag, and then that's it. Okay, so. So the three, the three, you know, so we put this thing in the bag and the three clues we come up with, it has wings, it has a cab and it flies in space. I'm like, that's pretty innocuous, right? So he gets to class and he's like, it was in Star Wars and it shoots. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. And, and bear in mind, like this is a Christian preschool, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Our child so went to a Christian preschool. We're pretty, we're pretty psyched about that. Um, <laughs> pretty sure they're not going to ask us back. It shoots. It shoots. He and he came in and told me this this morning at six in the morning. I was like, "How was the sharing bag?" You know, yesterday. And he's like, "Oh yeah, I told everybody." He actually, he got really quiet because he was nervous. He's like, "Well, I didn't really say the clues. I just kind of said um, it was on Star Wars and it shoots." <laughs> he was really proud of himself. Cool. Anyways. So that's my story. So dig in the Star Wars. <gasps> dig in the Star Wars. Any other sci-fi? Any other fantasy? Yeah, know? there's got to be other ones. Um, oh, you know what's another really, really good movie that I really like is uh, Lord of War. Lord seen I've heard of, of that one. I've I, never seen it. We haven't seen it. It's uh, uh, Nicolas Cage. Yeah. He's or like, Nicholas Pelegula, if you uh, if you know correctly. That's his real name. Well, he's a he's a Coppola. He's a Coppola, right? yeah. Right. He's, he's related. He's, to he's related to him, but his yeah. Yeah. yeah, and if you he was in his you know first movie he was ever in, no, 
Uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I he, don't. He was one that. of the, he was one of the stoners um, with. Uh, oh wow, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Oh no, no, that. he wasn't one of the stoners. He was in the kitchen. Huh. It was uh, the guy that used to be in ER that was one of the stoners. Oh, Which Eric Stoltz. Watch that again. It's Eric, been Eric years. Stoltz, oh, so Eric Stoltz wasn't on yeah. ER, was he? No, no, no. Eric Stoltz was one of the stoners. Everyone oh yeah, Eric Stoltz was totally one of movie. the stoners. Spicoli I thought you were saying. And, uh, yeah, I love Eric Stoltz actually. Who doesn't? He's yeah, yeah. Eric Stoltz is wonderful. I like Kevin Bacon. <laughs> really? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, just because his name is you know, I'm related to him in some way. In some degrees. You've got to be, right? Some degrees, yeah. Kevin Bacon Bacon. Yeah, what is it? Com. Seven degrees? Wouldn't that seven be great? Oh, Fifi thinks you're an idiot. <laughs> what? Fifi? Snakes talk. Thinks yeah, you're an I'll idiot. Yeah. So, okay, so sci fi, no, so I'm movies. Sorry, being um, that's great. I think that. What do you doc- like in modern art? <laughs> I think Dr. Strange should share his top three favorites. I know Ooh, yeah, one of them is going to be Miller's Crossing. Yes, thank you. I have not seen that. Oh. <gasps> oh. You like the Cone Brothers at all? Yeah, one of their best, and 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 not as eh, funny, but a drama funny. It's one of their She's like dramedies. Gabriel Byrne. Hmm? Yeah. Come again? Yeah, I think we need to have that. Yeah, Miller's Crossing. Mister Brain Eater here. It's about Miller's Irish Crossing. bootleggers, set in that time. So you like the Godfather and all that? Done. Good movie. I love it. Good Already. movie. Miller's Crossing. Got done. the Coen Brothers spin to it too. So okay, Doctor Strange. Tommy Guns. Doctor Strange. Or the two. Well, he said The Godfather, you know, it's a t- always a toss-up between Godfather Part 1 and Part 2, or if you can just smash the two together and say it's just that Godfather 1 and 2 <laughs> series. Oh, look, it's Godfather Part Woo. Two is pretty good. Is he running? <laughs> Woo. Woo is running, isn't he? He's he's running for Congress mm-hmm. again. Yeah. Um, didn't he, wasn't I've he the guy who did the Woo. Klingon thing in Congress <laughs> that made us proud? I actually wrote a blog post about that. That's right. Yeah. He did the Klingon? Thing? Yeah, he was on the floor of oh, Congress. Oh, yeah, He was yeah. giving a speech and he started talking crazy, about Klingons. Crazy ass not Klingon joking. talk. I think he was is talking about not, like, Was he filibustering or something? This is not a joke. Was he just no, no, I think he was talking about crazy. a rock or something, I think. It was a comparison and he was using the Klingons and the Romulans, I think. Let's, let's just say it made the Daily Show. You know what? Oh, top of the Daily <laughs> Show. I'll send you the link to my post uh, that I wrote Done. about it, which I think has a link to him actually... Talking about it. Yeah, yeah. David Wu. Yeah. That's right. And Klingons. 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 Do you like the Star Trek series? you like Star Trek at all? Uh, you know, I really... <sighs> not so much. No, not so much. You know, I, I, yeah. I Ooh, love Captain I've, Kirk. And, I've, you know, I actually really loved the first Star Wars. Really? The, the original motion picture. Star yeah. Wars, yeah. you mean Star Trek? Star Trek. Trek. V'ger and you the said whole Star Wars. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. It's yeah. Star Trek. Yeah. There's a difference. But you, so so, if so you, you don't like Patrick Stewart? You're not... I was all right. Engage. You know, like... So you're sitting in a would you're make sitting sex in a, interesting, wouldn't it? You're sitting in a divided <laughs> yeah. home because Number one, over engaged. on that side of the room we've got a Captain Kirk fan, and over on this side of the room we have a Captain. I'm a Kirk child fan. of the '60s. I mean, wait, wait, wait. I mean, I was you a repeat, child, but, you're really you know. fucking old. Yeah, I'm way <laughs> older than he is. Yeah. That's what scares me. It's true. But He's I'm like ten years older than Dick you. Dick, Dick it's Clark of the inner tubes. But anyway, um, yeah, Captain Kirk. That's, we that's heart good Captain stuff. Kirk. Yeah. Is great. No, we Captain don't. Kirk and Spock. Well, no. look, he, he shoot at people and then screw people. You know, that was pretty much it. Interstellar sex. Exactly. How do you, you know what? If someone's going to shoot at someone and then have me? sex with yeah. them, it's going to be me, not him. That's kind of how I yeah. feel about the whole matter. Hmm. I mean, if you're flying through space, I don't you know, would you have sex with Jean Luc Picard? Are you kidding me? Not now. He's old. Oh, lots of women are. But no, let's back just say, then, let's say, like, like back then, like yeah. that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, yeah, I would. Like if he was here today, huh? Okay. Yeah, if he could get Weird. it up and he was getting it on, yeah, I would. <laughs> I'm not afraid of an old man. I married are... one. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but <don't>... yeah, <laughs> See, that's what you need there. <laughs> I have all my hair. So no, seriously, it's true. You do have a much better I hair. It from my back to so, my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have that much back hair, I I salute you for waxing it and me never knowing. <laughs> Like I said, I graft it from my back to my head. So, <laughs> as I was asking, yes, favorite movies aside from Miller's Crossing. Well, I think we got we got the Godfathers, we got the Miller's. You know, anything with wise guys, of course, is always mm-hmm. always a good good. Goodfellas one. is pretty good too. Goodfellas, oh. Casino. Actually, I really like Casino. It's a little long. Yeah, I thought Sharon Stone was amazing in that. And a true story. 
Actually, both yeah, based, based on both? a true story. Actually, it was based, based on the same guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Loosely. Which is always scares you because you watch the movie and then later you see the documentary on a did you, ever, did you ever hear like, so Ray Liotta was, I remember him talking about doing Goodfellas and he went to the, he did the opening, right? He showed up yeah. at the opening and the guy was there. The guy showed up. I was like, hey man, wow, you did a really good job. Oh my word. Like, no, 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 no. You're in the witness protection program, exactly. dude. You <laughs> should not yeah. be here. Sammy, <laughs> Sammy the Bull, I believe. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> That's yeah, a comfortable moment. I like the scene in Goodfellas where Joe Pesci goes to get made, right? Oh, and he's just yeah. game over. <laughs> it's just like, wait, you know, where's if you haven't party? seen Goodfellas, <laughs> this is a spoiler, but yeah. <laughs> hey, where's everybody? Bam. It's like the whole, like, if you haven't seen The Usual sus- Suspects. Yeah. 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 That's a good movie. I can't even. I also like the thing I like in Goodfellas. That's one of my top three. Is, you know, when, like, then the bloodletting happens, right? Because, you know, everyone's going crazy. They pulled off the heist and everything and you know just dead bodies everywhere, everywhere. you know <laughs> all you can eat dead bodies exactly it's, it's a zombie like, dream come true yeah. and you're thinking to yourself wow this is kind of a lifestyle I just don't really <laughs> understand right like one minute you're like hey Pally hey how's it going hey yeah next you're like I, I gotta have to kill that guy yeah, yeah. I just get you know and put a tire on no, his head no you Bummer. sit you sit shotgun that's what I learned yeah. never sit shotgun oh. always sit oh, in yeah. the back always back sit in the back the back seat is the best place never sit shotgun no never when you're when you're with your Wise guys, buddies, no. never said you're talking. That's like uh, Polly in uh, Godfather, the first Godfather. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go get some mattresses. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. So, uh, oh, <laughs> we could, we could go more, on for hours. You want more movies? What are your three? My three. Oh, oh that's God. Tough. This is what she's waiting for. But. No, no, I wasn't actually. What are the okay? Ra- great. Uh, um, <laughs> Maltese Falcon. Go. Mal- oh, there we go. Ah. Um, the Usual Suspects. The classics. Oh, Almost God. anything with Cary Grant, especially if it's hit, you know North by Northwest. So wait, no, usual Sussex. Some of those. Oof. I, well, God, the third one is gonna be hard for me to choose the third one. Maltese Falcon. Porky's Revenge. I already chose Maltese oh. Falcon. Caligula, Caligula. Mm. <laughs> I can't even slot number three because it's so like the competition for number three is so stiff. <laughs> I told you Caligula. <laughs> <laughs> Ever seen Caligula? I think I have actually. Yeah. Get the get the unrated. Harvey. <laughs> Harvey. 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 I'm gonna say usually suspect. Yeah, like Jimmy Stewart. Oh yeah. Jimmy Stewart. Anything was just. Uh, actually, you know, it's actually, life. it's a wonderful life. Could could easily make it to my top three. Yeah. I literally watch that probably twenty times every Christmas. Boy, how many people this year are gonna be watching it? It's a wonderful life. Is they're doing the run on the bank. <laughs> Uh, nah. Everyone will be like, oh, yeah. Uh, don't Wait a minute, I'm, ta- I'm taking anymore. notes right now. Tell you. Ms. Buried, top three favorite movies of all time. I don't think she's seen three movies, actually. That's oh, nice. she's seen three movies. It's just the genre. They were all pornos. <sighs> right, they were all pornos. Actually, Behind the Green Door, classic. <laughs> okay, top three non-porno <laughs> favorite movies of all time. Can I instead say what I'm looking forward to coming out? No, no, um, that's no, like... No, we all know, because... Oh, well. No, okay. But there's one problem. I know that Can Be Chaos and Miss Burroughs had a date to go see that movie, but <gasps> apparently Dr. Normal wants to see that movie, too. You can come, too. Uh, which okay. movie was this? Oh, is this the Day the Earth Stood Still? Uh, James Bond, bitch. Oh, the new James Bond. Oh, man, that's going to be great. You like the you like the last James the Bond? The new one, yeah. Should we, have a huge, should we have a giant tweet-up? Why wouldn't we? We should. Sakes. We need to have a giant tweet-up. It was good. To see James Bond. I love James Bond movies. You're like, oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. I just found out that on my... Like we have HD at home, yeah, and I can get any Bond movie at any time. <gasps> wow, all day long. Oh my god! So you can actually watch Sean yeah. Connery and figure out where the right now starts because right it's now. HD. So we need right? to have a, a. It's awesome. Twenty-one movies on demand. It's like I want, all I want to do is like I just want to like Finish. hunker down in my house and watch all of them. Wow. Nice. And that's what I want to do. For that. I want to like, you know, just sit for like a week with provisions and watch every James Bond movie that's been out. Because there's like 30 or something, right? 21. 21. 21. Wow. Well, wow. hey, you knocked that one out. 21. It's right. a piece of cake, man. That's less than a season of uh, 24, right? I think Ms. Yeah. Burroughs wants to tell great us what films. her favorite movies. Well, not all great. Top three, Ms. Burroughs. Ms. Buried. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before, before, no. who's your favorite Bond? <laughs> you gotta ask that. <sighs> man, that's a tough George one. Lazenby. George Lazenby, right? No, no, no. Uh, you know, I gotta say, Casino Royale was really, really good. Yeah, he's good. 
Uh, he's really good, and you know, I kind of like the darker slant to mm -hmm. him. This one, this one that's coming out is going to be just like that. It's kind of like the new Batman's. I'm really excited. Yeah. Are just I dark, love the new Batman dark, movies. Dark, dark. I just I love, love it. But that last that. one was pretty dark. I haven't seen. I haven't even seen that one. But I saw oh. Batman Returns, and it was like so. Effective. Oh, you've got you got to see it. You haven't seen the new one? No, I haven't seen it. Wow. You've got to With see Heath Ledger it. and everything. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. First, like, you know, trust me. You, I, you think the first I one was dark. I went into it thinking I'm really so pissed off because now if I don't like Heath Ledger's performance, I'm a bitch because he's dead. Yeah. And I was expecting to hate it. Watch it. You'll get emailed. And I was amazed. I actually <laughs> really, it was a great movie. It was a fantastic performance. Unless you yeah. ask Miss Burry's husband. Yeah. Well, it was, it, no, it was a fantastic performance. I mean, it was yeah, incredible. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, it's like, give him the Academy Award, you know, it's like. But it is dark. Then of it the old of the old Bonds, I would have to go with um, anything that had Jaws in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, all the Roger Moore. Nice. All the Roger Moore ones. Yeah. So you so you, you like Roger Moore, maybe your favorite. You know, I actually did like Roger Moore. Yeah. Because uh, you know Connery was just kind of crotchety. Yeah. Right. I can't remember in the in the like I can't remember which one it was, but See? it was one of the ones where they're like they're like checking him out for age. Uh -huh. And one of the things are like, oh, you're too old to be out oh, there. That whatever. was the one he remade. He came back and did one more. I have it. It's called uh, Never Say Never Again. No, 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 no. no. That this one? was, uh, uh, it was, was it Never Say Never Again? Or was it, yeah. Well, he did, he did two. He did Diamonds of Forever, I believe. Well, maybe it was that Which one. Which he anyway. came back in the early 70s, and then he said, right. I'm never going to do it again. Early See, 70s, and you're like, and they're okay, like, oh, oh my God. And I was like, well, that was the 70s, for God's sake. Okay. So, okay. let me okay. ask, Dr. Norm, maybe it was Dr. Diamonds. Dr. Strange, who's okay. your favorite Bond? I, you know, I, I, so I, I grew up with, um, with uh, uh, Roger Moore. Roger Moore. Yeah. I mean, that was the one. You know, when I went to the theater and saw my first Bond film as a kid, it was Roger Moore. It was a spy who loved me, actually. Uh, uh, yo, God, that was a great one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but honestly, which was the one with the uh, from Russia with Love? That was a good one. Too. Yeah, and that was, but that was the first one. That was with Sean Connery. Was it? Yeah. No. Okay. What was the one? What was the one with? Uh, the Russian spy was he and the Russian, the really hot Russian that was, spy. That was the spy love me, I believe. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, and the Barbara water with the giant uh, thing that goes underwater. Yeah, I think. He had the underwater true. city, he was going to destroy the earth, blah, blah, blah. Um, the spy love me, I think he had the underwater car. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, Baron yeah. Von Hagen, your favorite Bond. Ooh, that's a toughie. I don't know, I might have to go with the current, the current reigning yeah. champion right now. Oh, you've just completely fucked so, my theory. So, I, I, I gotta answer it still. He's I grew up with Roger guy. Moore. What are you gonna do, right? No, I grew, no, I, it's fine. I grew up with Roger Moore. I like some of the Roger Moore Bonds. I grew up with them. I mean, Man with Golden Guns pretty cool. Um, Live and Let Die, which I yeah. believe was his first one, was a very cool one. But after going back and seeing the Connery, the From Russia with the Love, the kind of just, you know, what sitting about, on the what beach about, with the girl uh, and, the, and hitting a guy with a... Uh, with a, a, a shark spear, spear gun, you know. I mean, that's a great scene. Or the one where he's dancing with the girl in the Caribbean and he sp spins her around. She's like a double agent. Spins her around, the guy shoots at him, <laughs> shoots her in the back. I mean, it's like, that guy was an asshole. <laughs> and I was like, that's my kind of spy. An asshole, right? Um, yeah. And, and I, unlike most people, I kind of thought Timothy Dalton was kind of kind of good. He was very athletic. What about athletic. Pierce Brosnan? Anybody think Pierce Brosnan? Um, they were entertaining. That's where we. That's where we come up with my theory. I think it's generational. I think it's a lot like Star Trek. I think it's who you grew up with is who you like. And I grew up with Pierce Brosnan's James Bond, and uh -huh. so I really enjoyed Pierce Brosnan. Interesting. Although How I do. did he do? He only I do like movies, Daniel too. Craig. No, he did more than three? two, three or four. Yeah, well, what's odd is Judy Dench, who plays M, is still in in the new ones too. I love Judy from, Dench. From from the old ones, from from the Pierce Brosnan. Miss Barry. I, well, you know who your favorite Bond is, don't you? Well, I, I uh, appreciate the gratuitous uh, ab shots and the yeah. suit. speedo shots. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you like? He's the like the only guy. Bond yeah. now that can like do that can pull that off. Yeah. Daniel Craig. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so Connery, okay but Connery the, back in his day, tweet up. Yeah, he was a swimmer. Tweet up. I mean, he looked that way. I'll sit next to you. I'll hold yeah. your hand. But I like the watching the DVD because you can freeze frame it. <laughs> and I think I counted last time. There's like five shots of him. Mostly naked. He's got a six pack, doesn't he? He does. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's got like a twelve pack. You know, I really. This is gonna sound <laughs> strange, but I feel bad for people with six packs. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I 
do. I look Lucky at it. Lucky your I'm husband like, doesn't have one. <laughs> you I don't have to feel it, bad I don't for find it. it <laughs> because I, I have to think of all the time that they spend working out when they could be actually living their lives. But see, that's why I feel like you should sex. appreciate it. You really? know? Freeze frame it, look at it even longer. All the time it took him to do that. Yeah. He was my screensaver for a while. Really? I have a six pack yeah. in the fridge. You think he was my <laughs> screensaver for a while? Um. You know, say his name. Say his name. He's in your oh, purse. Shit. He is in my purse. I keep him in my purse at all times. He's gonna um, be at breakfast with us tomorrow. Um, 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 say um, it. I'm thinking. Say his name. It's, it's David. David. Archuleta. <laughs> Sorry. Baron Von Bacon. Wrong. <laughs> ten it. Ten it. Ten it. Oh. Woo. Thank goodness. I think even Doctor Strange and Doctor Normal have accepted the Cami Chaos, Kill Millia Chaos love of David Tennant. The one thing that Cami uh, Chaos and I have in common, we both love David Tennant. Well, who is retiring from Doctor Who? The scrawny men <laughs> okay. are, are often. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh. Uh, where's my first? I'm going to hold my hand and yeah. tell me she's not I think that's our... God, we went our on that long. <laughs> yeah, uh, so much so that I ran out of the uh, audio out of here. Didn't we? Oh. Uh, you know, actually, maybe uh, we did, oh. producer woman, because we ran out of hey, sexy here. We're just talking to ourselves over here. <laughs> we need to act, have a recording of the actual closing part, though, right? Yes, we do. Yeah. Are we out? Oh, okay. That's um, good. Is it so let's uh, let's let's say good night. Good night. <laughs> Do we have an ending for this show? Yeah, something. Um, here I can push the button again. You gonna push? So I think you should say uh, goodbye to the folks. Thank you for joining us <laughs> on this spooky, spooky Halloween. This is Gil Millia Chaos. Saying thank you and good night. Night. Wicked dreams, everyone. Good night, zombie. Join us next week when we talk to Chris O'Rourke. Good night, everybody.